Well, just this morning, a friend of mine sent me a message saying that for the first time, she read a short Life of St. Gerard. And she was so fascinated. And she said, Father, I never knew what an amazing saint he was. What a life. And that too, so young. As a matter of fact, Gerard entered the Redemptorist congregation in 1749, the very year Pope Benedict XIV gave the Redemptorist congregation the approval to the rule. And Gerard providentially was sent by God, I believe, to live that rule and to live it fully. And that's what he did for the six short years of his life in the congregation. Live the rule, which was to proclaim the good news of God's love to the abandoned poor. And this he did through his very person, by being close to people, especially the poor. He was a receptionist, handled the door of the Redemptorist house, where he met the poor who came. He just didn't give them bread to eat and cheese and a, and a glass of wine. He talked to them. He cracked jokes with them. He got them to sing with him. He lifted up their spirits. He encountered people in their struggles, suffering people, young couples without children, and he prayed and blessed them, and they were blessed with the gift of a child. He encountered women struggling through their pregnancies. He blessed them, and they had normal deliveries. He meant to visit homes, and he found children sick. He laid his hands and blessed them, and they were well again. No wonder he is called the patron of childless couples, expectant mothers, sick children. Gerard lived joyfully. One often knows Gerard for his mortification, his life of penance, his rigorous practice of strict penances. But nobody saw this because he was joyful. It was very private, it was very personal. He lived joyfully. He was the center of community recreation. He would sing, he would dance, he would get the hands of an elderly confer and dance a jig or two with him. That was the kind of man. In today's words, he lived the gospel joyfully. I believe the key is again to do whatever God wishes and to do it joyfully. So it doesn't matter who you are and what you're doing. You're a married person, live it joyfully. You're a single person, live it joyfully. Wherever you're working, with whomsoever you're relating to, to do God's will is to live as Jesus wanted us to live, aware of the fundamental that God loves me just as I am. And if God loves me just as I am, I radiate a sense of joy. I invite people to experience that joy through me. I invite people to also appreciate God's love in their life. God's love present from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun to the gifts that God abundantly blesses us. That's enough motive for joy, isn't it? The more we come out of ourselves, the more we connect with people, the more we relate to people, the more we think of the needs of people and how I can, in my own simple way, reach out to them. That's living the gospel and that's radiating joy. If I might just summarize Jared's life, to use his own words, here is one who is doing the will of God for as long as God pleases and just how God wishes it. And that's what his ambition was, to do God's will wherever he was, wherever he was sent with whomever he was. That is Jared Magella. <laughs>